is Gypsy Snyder and I am one of the co-founders and co-artistic directors of The Seven Fingers, a contemporary circus collective from Montreal. This is the first time that I am being honored to come and participate on the jury for the Young Stage Festival. This is the first time I believe anyone from The Seven Fingers has come, even though we've wanted to and we've been so excited about this festival for many years actually. Being on the jury, being a judge is, I think, a very particular job and I think I'm planning on approaching this festival in a very sort of pedagogic, supportive manner where I am really going to be looking out for how the performer gives themselves to the performance. So the movement, the quality of level of technique, uh, level of expression, what they're trying to say, how they're trying to connect with the audience, and I think the things that I'm looking out for are really how I'm gonna be moved by the performance. I do not like to think of judging the performance. I like to think of being affected by the performance. So um, I think that's gonna be what I'm looking out for. And I just know I, I might be affected by a technical level. I might be affected by the way they connect to the audience and to me. I might be affected by the quality of their movement. It really could depend, and I'm sure each one of those factors uh, will also influence the other factors. So, you know, in the end, I guess it's really the overall humanity in the performance that, uh, the humanity and the excellence in the performance that are going to win my heart. Really everything in my surroundings influence my work. It can be the political climate, it can be the environment. I am actually looking to be inspired by the performances that I see and I think that young, new, dynamic performers are living the world in a very different way than I am now as a mother and I'm 48 years old. So to be able to experience their reality through the performance is, of course, very influential in my work. I definitely need to see what what people are doing in circus now. It's, it's actually one of the most exciting things to see the next generation and I'm hoping that I'm going to be surprised. The subject of women in circus is one of the subjects that fascinates me the most because I was raised by the most strong beautiful, talented, hardworking, incredible women that I've ever met in my life. Circus women are, for me, the best examples of women that exist on the planet. Um, the courage, the risk, the strength, and the sensitivity that you have to have uh, in this business is always exemplified for me in women who do circus. So, of course I'm disappointed when I feel like they are not being represented. Since the foundation of The Seven Fingers, we've actually really promoted a very feminist aspect of uh, women on stage. When we created the company, The Seven Fingers, we were four women and three men, and the power of the women in the inception of our company has always been incredibly strong and incredibly supported by the men in our company. So I have to say that the Seven Fingers have always gone that extra mile to make sure that a woman has a place in the storytelling of the show, in her individuality, uh, that she is not only there to look pretty or be thrown around or show her tricks, that she's actually a human person on stage. We have always insisted on having women of different body types, uh, different shapes and sizes, different skills, surprising skills. We have um, even hired women who perhaps are less strong technically, but bring personality to the show. So if we're, you know, very often in a circus, you'll have a clown. So in the Seven Fingers, we don't necessarily have 
clowns, but comedy is a very important part of our work, and for us, that comedy should be equally held in our performances by the men as by the women. So for example, um, by some total chance, the four women in my last creation, Reversible, happen to be like really, really beautiful. <laughs> They're just like stunning women. And I realized that I, you know, when I looked at the cast in front of me, I knew that I had to make sure that all four women had what I consider a clown act in the show. A moment where they were able to be on stage and not be expected to be beautiful. And none of the acts in my mind did I expect them to be beautiful at all, but I expected them definitely to be more than beautiful. They had to have something to say, that they were speaking from their heart and from their experience, that they had to use their body in its truest form and not just with beautiful flourishes. I have always insisted that all of my performers are able to stand on stage and do nothing and touch me. So it's been a priority of our company to feature our women and to represent uh, true women on stage in every production of the Seven Figures. If there was one thing that I was going to say to the festivals, I would just encourage them to have the courage to say, I need equal representation. I need to support these women and show that there is a value in coming to the stage with something more than just your great tricks and your beauty. Right now, I am in the middle of creating a brand new show called Sisters that is inspired by the true sibling relationship between two sisters who were circus performers. One of them was my hand-to-hand -hand flyer, Miriam DeSella, and her sister, Ayin DeSella, who was a tight wire walker for the Cirque du Soleil, and, uh, and they both had extensive circus careers. Now they're in their 40s, and they wanted to create a show using their sister's music. Um, their sister is Lassa DeSella, who's a beautiful, beautiful singer and composer and performer who passed away 10 years ago from breast cancer. And when they asked me to help create this show and to direct it, I jumped on the opportunity. One, because it's two women on stage. Two, because it's two circus performers at a, the next stage of their careers. Two very high level circus performers who are now past the age of being able to be high level circus performers and yet they have so much story, so much theatricality, um, and so much to tell the audience. So I am in the middle of creating that show. It should be opening in Montreal at the Montréal Complètement Cirque this summer and we'll start touring next year. It's been one of the most moving and exciting projects. And of course, it's a project that's not gonna have so much circus in it. We're gonna really put the value of the performance somewhere else, not in the, the technicality or trying to impress the audience with their tricks. Circus has been dominantly a very white art form. I think that there's a certain level of privilege, which is interesting because when I grew up, circus people were not privileged people. Uh, it was very outside of society. But now this new contemporary circus movement, I worry about the voice being heard of circus people from all over the world and of every shape, size, and color. And we've noticed in the past three years how we do not feel, I don't feel stimulated by watching a show with a bunch of white people. I feel that I'm hearing the same stories and I'm not hearing stories that are true to what's actually happening in the world right now. Um, and I'm very, very excited about this idea of us all making an effort to hear those voices and give space to those voices in this beautiful art form.
because they're there. There are incredible performers in every single country around the world, and they're starting to they're starting to represent. And I think that we we need to make an effort to 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 get them on the stage. Beyond that, what I am really interested in for the Seven Fingers, or my role in the Seven Fingers, is really taking circus um, theatrically to new levels. I think the Seven Fingers are becoming even more and more hungry um, to create experiences for the audience that are going to open their minds and their hearts in new ways. I think that actually the combination of theater and circus is actually still very, very young, which seems crazy because The Seven Fingers is already 15 years in and that there's so many new companies breaking so many new barriers. But my passion for theater and words and human beings um, and for the theatrical experience, I actually think that we're on the cusp of, of really entering a new realm um, for circus. And it's probably a realm that I can't even imagine yet, and I'm excited to play in that realm.